I want to give um, thanks to the Lord for, um, for making it possible that I could be here. And I'm making it possible that I could be there. Amen. He's the one that has, um, has given us life. You know, he made me alive. I didn't mean that he uh, made me be alive. He made me alive. He quickened me. Same thing. He made me alive. You know, Paul, on occasion, he wasn't against testimonies. Brother Paul wasn't. He would say on occasion, I was on the road to Damascus. Well, I was on the road to perdition. I had turned my back on my Lord. I'm not proud of that. I'm ashamed of that. But you know, his salvation is so great, it doesn't make any difference where you're at. Whether or not you can see that brazen serpent. Whether or not you can see the Lord high and lifted up. See, it's Jesus that saves. It's not that we've saved ourselves. It's not that we've done some work of righteousness by which we're saved. It's because of his grace. Amen. See, he's able to save to the uttermost. The catch is, it's all them that come unto him. See, if you can hear his voice, well, then, then don't make a shipwreck of your faith. No, you come unto him. Yeah. All ye that are weary. And we're all weary, aren't we? Aren't we all weary? Yeah. Aren't we all laboring in the vineyard? And, it, and it's, it's very warm in the vineyard. But it's not warm there. You know, we've been delivered from darkness. I was darkness, but I don't want to dwell on that. Now I'm light. Now I'm light. Where? In the Lord. That's the only place that we're light. It's in the Lord. And that's where the salvation is. There is no sins in him. So if we want to be delivered from sin, we have to be in him. And it's quite a marvelous place to be. Amen. In Christ, protected from all evil. You know, a, a brother that used to assemble up north said, they can kill you, but they can't hurt you. <laughs> Brother Chuck Eaton, he's with the Lord now. He's basking in the, the pleasures forevermore. Amen. You know, we're on our way there. We're on our way, and now is the time of the trial of your faith. Oh, this is a precious thing. You've been engaged to be one of his sons, a son of the Most High God. There is no greater position. You know, the, the world doesn't offer positions like this. The world doesn't offer being made alive. They offer death. And every part of their offer is death. Every step of the way, it's death. It's the remembrance of death. Someday I'm going to die. Well, by his grace, I've already died. Amen. I've already died, and I've been raised to walk in a new life. And it's all because of what he's accomplished for me. And now, you know, we have to spend the time of our sojourn here in fear working out our own salvation he's made us workers together with him now see this is something that we couldn't have done ourselves but see he's allowing us he's working through us christ said i don't speak the words my own words he said he spoke the words that the father gave him and that ought to be my greatest my greatest desire is to only speak the words that the father gives us he's given us a lot of words you know i'm not for um for these private interpretations I think we ought to use the words that the Holy Spirit gives. Amen. He said these words won't return unto him void, but they'll accomplish his purpose. So, you know, we ought, we ought not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God, Amen. but it's unto salvation. See, that's the catch again. It's not unto institutions building big buildings. It is unto salvation. It will accomplish that purpose. So if you ever want to save anybody, and you can, you know, give them the words of life. The words that the Holy Spirit teaches, these are words that will bear fruit each upward into eternity. Amen. You know, the, the Lord didn't um, just make me alive so that I could um, bask in my aliveness. <laughs> he made me alive because he wanted, he wanted me to be able to, to, to minister. Now, you know, yes. I'm not a suitable minister. I said, Lord, I'm not a suitable minister. He said, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't call unclean what I've called clean. What I've cleaned with my blood, don't stand back and say, no, I'm a sinner. Because he saved us. He saved us. He set us apart. And see, we once were darkness. We once, you know, if any man say he has no sin, well, he's a liar. He makes God to be a liar. So see, it's, it's not in 
It's not that we were, see, our spirits have been delivered. But see, we have this vile body. We have this carcass. And you know, it has a temptation that it wants to fall in the wilderness. This carcass does. But you know, we've been given a gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it abides inside of you so that you can overcome this vile body. Well, that's our greatest work then, isn't it? That's our greatest work, is to overcome our own self, our own vile body. And we can do it. We have been given grace to, to overcome the flesh. It says, walk in the Spirit. This I say, then walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So if you're ever fulfilling the lust of the flesh, you're not in the Spirit. That's how simple it is. You say, no, I'll correct this problem. I'll walk in the Spirit. And I've been given an absolute guarantee, an absolute guarantee, I will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So our escape is upward. It's in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. You know, he's, back when I was on my bed of affliction, in my former dead days, you know, I didn't, I didn't know I was there. I was blind. The God of this world had blinded my mind. And if it hadn't have gone, if the grace of God hadn't appeared to me, if I hadn't have seen him, I would still be there. Because see, the God of this world is never going to illuminate the minds of men. It's going to darken them. And it always darkens their understanding. It's not like Satan speaks out of the darkness some mysterious thing. No, he, he causes for you don't understand salvation. You don't understand that Christ has died and rose again. Well, see, the Holy Spirit, he brings illumination. That's why Paul prayed that the eyes of your understanding might be in, enlightened. That you, your understanding might be enlarged to where you can see the scope of this whole kingdom. And to see that God has a place for you in his kingdom. He has a place to, that no one else can fill except you. And if you'll take up the cross every day and you'll walk, well, you'll fill a spot that no one else can fill. And in eternity, well, you know, Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. And he wanted to nail that down. He said, if it were not so, I would have told you. See, he's not the deceiver. He's the illuminator. Mm -hmm. See, it's the devil that doesn't tell you. The devil doesn't tell you all the good things that, that Christ has. He says, but you have to carry that cross. You have to go to church. You have to be holy like he's holy. Well, see, all these things. That we, we would rather... We would rather crucify the flesh and the former lust. Amen. Crucify them. That's the only thing they're good for. Amen. And take up your cross. Because see, that, that's, that's making you have an association with him. He endured the cross. So let's learn to despise the shame. There is shame. Let's not uh, be naive. There's shame. But I'll glory in my infirmities. Because I know that it, it shows me my need for God. I need him. And if there ever comes a time when I don't think I do... Well, I, I need to fall on my knees. See, he's given us repentance. Another Amen. gift that he's given us. Amen. We can repent if we confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us. See, he doesn't want to impute our iniquities to us. He wants to impute us the righteousness of Christ. Amen. Uh, what a trade. As Jerry Waters said, that's the greatest swap out in the history of the world. <laughs> I'm going to miss that brother this year. But he... he um, the Lord, you know, I, I, I didn't know what I was missing. And, but I knew something that somebody told me. He said, if you ever want to come back, that's your token that you can. Yeah. You can come back if you want to. See, the ones that can never come back will never want to come back. And so, you know, that word, just, just that, that word, when it came to me, I, I wanted to come back. But Satan kept saying, no, you've done too much. No, oh, look at what you've done. Don't look at what you've done. Look at what he did. Amen. And that'll deliver you from the power of darkness. Amen. And, um, you know, I, I, I prayed that night. I said, Lord, I know you're there. And I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. But I know you know how to. I know he knew. See, he, he knows all of his works from the beginning of the world. Now, I didn't know. You know, we can mess a lot of things up, but God is going to always give us salvation. If we come and confess, he'll always do the same thing. He'll forgive your sins. That's what Jesus' blood's for. See, we wouldn't need a mediator, then we wouldn't have one. But see, the very fact that we have one is evidence that we need it. 
So I'm all for using what he's given. You know, he's given, a, he's given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Now, why would he do a thing like that? Because we need every one of them. We need to be told, if you'll overcome, you'll be a pillar. Now, that doesn't appeal too much to the flesh. Who wants to be a pillar? Well, every one of his saints wants to be a pillar. You just ask them. Amen. I want to be a pillar in the temple of my God. I don't ever want to leave. I want to stay there. If you overcome, you'll inherit all things. That's what he said. See, in the time of temptation, you need to know that your God has promised you something. And he that's promised is also able to fulfill every one of them promises. Just look in the old covenant. He's fulfilled every promise. In the fullness of time, Christ came. And in the fullness of time, he's coming again. He's coming back. Now, I mean, the, the, if he went away, and he did, well, then he's coming back. And so we're looking for him. And I want to give thanks to my great God who, who purchased me, washed me, and now he's helping us. He's now appearing for us. And I want to give thanks. And thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.